All right, hey guys, this is Mr. Boyd at Denver Christian School. We're going to talk real quickly here about the actual method for transferring an iMovie project from one machine to another. You cannot just simply copy the files. The, um, the iMovie system uses something, uh, in fact, the entire Macintosh system uses something called a journaled file system. And so that journaling has a lot of extra identifiers with it that tells you the, the program that things were used with and the... And the um, the identifiers for that specific machine. If I simply copy and paste those files over to here, they won't re they won't sort of show up, and the, and the internal file structure of iMovie, for that matter, doesn't recognize things. So, um, in the past, what I've at, what I've told people to do is is to um, go in and get the the folder with their project and try to transfer it, and that's not enough. You've got to do a, a couple of other things. It actually takes them back and forth between the two machines. On the machine you want to transfer to. I'm just going to show you, I'm going to prove that this works. Um, we have a student film here with uh, some dinosaurs and things like that. Um, we don't have any of that footage, just for confirmation here. Um, I'm just looking to make sure there's nothing else in this library. Yeah, so nothing else is in here. Um, this project has its own particular uh, library associated with it, and so we're going to do the same thing over here. Um, you can see on this one, I'm just going to open up any other project. Um, we do not have any of that dinosaur footage, just, you know, just to kind of prove that it's there. Now, I've already kind of named something, and I'm just going to delete that. I'm, I've named something the same thing as that project, but it doesn't have any of the same stuff in there, obviously. So uh, I'll take you through this process. All right, we're going to go back to projects. I'm going to start a new project on the computer I'm bringing this to. So if this is your laptop and you're bringing a school file to the laptop, or you're taking a school file and putting it on your personal laptop, you're going to create a new project. You want a new movie project here, okay? And oh, huh, we've already got some stuff in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and delete that event so you guys can see that I, I fully I fully have everything. Okay, um, so completely deleted there, and I've got no media. Okay, if I have uh, some kind of a library already, I can transfer just any folder. Any file, I don't care what it is, just go find something, preferably a placeholder, a piece of, like a junky file, something you're not going to use, okay? Grab some, some unnecessary, unused folder file and, and just bring it into the media file uh, or media folder for your project, okay? And I'm going to rename this, well, okay, I'm going to rename this when I go to, to save, this, save this project. Now, iMovie is all the time saving your project, but you get a chance to rename it when you go to go back to the project. So you can, so you can say here, I'm going to name this the same thing that it's called over there. It's called Lance Jurassic Park 6. Okay? So this is what you would be doing on your laptop. I'm going to hit OK. And then when I go back to that, you can see the media folder associated with that project and the name of that project have both been changed to that, okay? That's the important thing, all right? You can have stock footage folders that you're pulling from, and if you're doing that, you're gonna need to go in and, and, and get stuff from those as well uh, when you do this transfer, this file transfer process. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna close iMovie on this machine, and I'm actually gonna close iMovie on this machine because the important thing is where these files are kept and how we transfer them. All right. If you don't see in your in your finder window, if you go to your finder window here, and I'm opening a new one, because I'm going to do the file transfer using uh, AirDrop. I'm not going to do it on, a, on an SD card, but you could do that. If you don't see movies over here in the left-hand sidebar, you need to go up to your Finder Preferences and make sure Movies is checked. All right? You need to be able to see that. If you can't see that, they're going to be under the name of your account.
uh, and you can either get to that from users and the name of your account and go to movies there okay or you can get to it from the hard drive and again go to users pick the user that you're logged in as and find their movies folder right whichever way works get there and find the iMovie library now normally if you double click on the iMovie library it it acts as if it's uh, a single file and it opens iMovie but there's more to it than that there's more going on inside of there if you right click or two finger tap on a laptop or you hit control and click you want to go to show package contents and that inside of there is everything all the projects that were inside of iMovie and there's our Lance Jurassic Park 6 folder so that's the folder that in my case I'm going to airdrop it over if you have it on an SD card you would just uh, you or you have an SD card that you're moving it on you would drag it over to the SD card and if you already have your file on your SD card you're going to drag it off of there uh, and I'll talk about what to do on this machine here in a moment but for right now I'm going to transfer it I can airdrop it over onto this machine now I've already transferred it over there this takes a while because this file is if you do get info this file is almost three gigabytes so it's going to take some time to do this why I've already got it done but that's it you would move that to an SD card and then physically take that to that other computer or you would airdrop it from one Mac to another Mac all right so I'm going to stop the video there and when we pick back up we're going to pick back up on this machine because I'm done here I will have I'll have moved or copied I've gone into that movies folder and shown the package contents of the iMovie library and gone and gotten this. In fact, it's not a bad idea to look and check and see if in the original media folder that's inside your project, everything that you expect to use in your project is in there. I've got my, my audio files, my music, special effects, all that kind of stuff is all in here, so that's good. It's all been packaged up. If it wasn't in there, I'd have to go and find it and bring it with me to that other computer, especially if you're using stock footage. Um, from from previous events or other things like that or from other folks you do need to get all your media together to go with you all right I'm gonna shut this video off we're gonna reconvene over at this other computer I'm gonna switch to screen capture mode and edit the camera footage and the screen capture uh, together so that you can see how we go from one computer next to another to bring that file completely in on this machine and have it work All right, we're back. Uh, this time I'm switching to a complete screen capture on the second computer, and we're, we're going to have brought over our files, whether it's through AirDrop or through an SD card, we're gonna have brought over a file folder from the original computer's uh, iMovie project. Now remember, I've already in my movies folder here, I've already pre-made, using iMovie, I already pre-made a, a folder with the name of the project that I want to bring over. And inside of that, you can see here, just to prove this, uh, I don't have any dinosaur footage or sound files or anything like that in my, in my original media, okay? Um, I do have some project files, and that's the important thing. And render files we don't really care about right now because we haven't rendered this out, okay? But the important thing is that all the placeholders are here. This is all the stuff that's got to go away. So we're going to take this, and we're literally gonna drag it to the trash. So it's an empty folder now, okay? And again, the way that I got there, if you don't have it, it's in your movies folder. You either need to go to Finder and write Finder and Preferences and, and make sure Movies shows up over here. You need to go to your, um, uh, go to your disk and, and get to your account and, and go to Movies that way. So in here, iMovie library, right click or control click uh, or two finger tap, show package contents. Okay, and there we have it. Now I need to open another finder window because I'm going to be dragging those contents in there. So I'm going to right click here and make a new finder window. And this could be on your SD card, it could be wherever it is. In my case, it's downloads because I used AirDrop. So here is this file that I just brought over from the other computer. And I'm going to take all of the contents and bring them over here. Don't worry, there's no hidden files in here. Uh, not that I know of anyway. You don't want to bring this folder over. You want to bring the contents of the folder over. So I wouldn't drag this over. I wouldn't do that. 
What I would do though is find it, locate it, and then open up all the stuff inside of it. All right, so your view might look like this. There's the new folder. There's the folder you just brought over. Oop. Downloads. So there's the folder you just brought over. Inside of that is all this stuff. Okay, I like the list view myself a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna take all these, bring them over into the, the folder that I already pre-made on this machine. And it goes pretty quick, because it's really just a reassignment of information, what folder things are in. That's part of the power of that journaling file system that I was talking about, which is both a benefit, but also sort of the curse here in terms of why we have to go through this. So now, I can close this, uh, and notice it, it moved everything. Actually, I, I take, take a second. I, want, I don't want to have just moved it. I want to have copied it for right now because we're going to need that original media folder. If you want, all you need to really keep in there is the original media folder. So this, I'm going to, um, this is the one I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste it back in here. You may find if you run out of, uh, out of space that this folder here could actually probably, um, we're going to rebuild this anyway. It's possible um, if this was a really large folder, um, later we could come back in and maybe delete one of these copies uh, if it turns out we don't need it. All right. But for right now, it's good to have a backup copy of the original media because if it doesn't show up in iMovie, we're going to need to get it from somewhere else. And iMovie can't see inside of itself, which is weird sometimes. Um, so it helps to have an, another original copy. I don't need all of these, just the original media. Okay, that's it. So back here inside the iMovie now, we now have a folder with all of the dinosaur media and everything else like that. Here's all the dinosaur pictures. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this open for now over here. This I can close, because we're done with this. Now I open iMovie. And iMovie is gonna panic here, and it's gonna say it needs to rebuild a library, and we're gonna let it. Um, what it's doing is it's freaking out because back here in the projects, Oh, okay. It, it actually worked right out of the bat this time. Um, back, sometimes what happens is, is you'll get to here and all of these will be blanked out. And you can click on them and nothing happens. You don't go anywhere. And, and it'll tell you it's because it needs to rebuild the library. And a warning sign will come up right here over all the top of all this. And it'll say rebuild. And you'll say yes, please rebuild. What you'll do then, if it asks you to rebuild, go ahead and hit rebuild. You might actually have to hit it a couple of times and then close iMovie and reopen iMovie. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that. If it tells you it needs to rebuild, you're gonna say yes, rebuild, especially because all the other projects may then be grayed out except for the new one that you brought over. And you're gonna panic and you're gonna think, oh my goodness, I just broke iMovie all my other work is lost just so I could get this one project to move between computers. It's okay, it just needs to rebuild the library. You need to shut down iMovie and restart it. And when you restart it, once again, then you'll have all of those projects should be live again. This one is empty because there's not anything actually in it. Um, so here is the project that I brought over. And let's go look at it. And there it is. All of the, the files, all of the sounds, everything are here. Now the problem is, the question is whether or not you've got the, the media, right? And so that's where we wanted to go. We wanted to see, did that all import? And yes, it did. Okay, It had me on my default sort of iMovie library, but because I had that original media folder, I don't now need to bring this one in. So it actually worked the way it was supposed to. If that hadn't happened, if I'd gone up here to the project media folder and everything had been missing or I'd still had one or two of these files in there, these sort of 
uh, dummy placeholder files and I didn't have all the files I was expecting, including the sounds and everything, what I would have done then is I would have gotten rid of the placeholders and come over here and I would have command A, I would have dragged all that media in to fill that folder again. And because all the files are named the same thing and the instruction set knows to look for files named a certain thing, like this file here of this dinosaur, that file has a name associated with it. And as long as it can find any file named that file name, especially if it's the exact same file, it will repopulate and, and work correctly. And so that's the trick. When you're importing, if you see everything else blanked out or you see that rebuild, go ahead and rebuild, restart iMovie. And once you restart iMovie, completely close it and reopen it again and you see your project here, go ahead and open it. And if you don't see in your library, the library for, or the project media library for that specific project, not the generic library for all projects, but the one specific to that project. If it doesn't have everything in there, go ahead then and from the copy that you had, go ahead and then bring that in. And you should be back in business and everything should work correctly. I really hope that helps you. It took me a long time to figure this out. Um, it helps that I had some students who really needed to do it, and uh, I certainly appreciate them kind of pushing me to, um, to, to finalize this system or this methodology for doing this. I'm, I'm unclear on why this isn't better documented out there uh, in the public right now, uh, public space, but um, hopefully we can share this video with other people and they'll be able to transfer their projects from one machine to another. If you ever want to come back from this machine, back to the machine that you were originally starting on, you're gonna to have to do this whole process in reverse. Go back here to movies, go to iMovie library, show the package contents, package everything up again, put this new folder on, and replace all those contents. So it can be done. Harder to do, obviously, if that file gets, folder gets really, really full and really, really large, it's gonna be a long transfer process. But uh, for most of the projects that we do, this is quite doable. Best of luck with all your iMovie projects and uh, take care.